Yo, Kim Biscar here, what's going on, on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, I have to show you our new show sponsors. Come check out the ride with me. If you guys wonder what I use to keep my car clean, Sherilyn has hooked me up with a nice little vacuum to keep my car clean. Now, this is not just any vacuum. This is made for the car, for your automobile. Let me open the bag for you real quick. Inside the bag, a nice carrying case. We've got a lot of different attachments. You can really get in there and get under the seats, between the seats. I personally have leather, so I really like the brush. Got a couple spare filters in there, so whenever you need a change, you got a quick change there. And tons of other attachments just in case you need to reach to the trunk. Now, let me show you what's really cool about the Sherilyn. Like I said, it's made for the vehicle. So you have a cigarette lighter as your plug, so you don't have to bring the car close to the house or get an extension cord. You have it right here attached to this really lightweight uh, vacuum here. Really easy to use. You have a power button on the top to switch it up and down. And then when you need to change out the filter, there are two buttons you pinch on the side and you can take the filter right on out. So it's really easy to use and it snaps back in place. Of course, you can change the filter this way with a little door on the front that it detaches. So it's really simple and easy to use and I like it. So if you wonder what I'm using to keep my car clean, make sure you go down below in the description box and hit up Sherilyn and get your own vacuum today. Appreciate you. This guy here is going on YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing something totally different. I haven't done it in a long time. I have some old speakers behind me that I have no use for. And I was just going to throw them away, but I decided that I'm going to blow them up first. A lot of you guys like it when we blow things up. And I haven't done it in a while, so let me tell you what's going to happen today. So I have about three, four, or five speakers. I got a few more in the house I'm going to grab. And you're going to hook them up to my 300 or 3000 watt amplifier that's inside, powering my Sundown X15 V3. We're going to take that power and blow some little speakers up. Like I said, I was going to throw them away, but I thought I might just have a little bit of fun with it. So I got some extra speaker wire here that's going to fit into these terminals. And we're going to blow some stuff up. I mean, look at this speaker right here. It's rated at 18 watts. It's an 18 watt speaker. We're about to put 3,000 watts to it. Let me take the grill off of there. It's a little cute little speaker. We're gonna blow it up. And so we're gonna have a little fun today. Instead of just throwing it away, I thought we'd make a little little video of it. So I'm gonna take you guys to my little spot real quick. We're in my neighborhood, so I don't wanna make a lot of noise here. So we're gonna take it to the spot. And I'll see you guys when we get there. So we are at my spot. I like to make noise down here. There's nobody around me, so I love coming here. But I have four different speakers that we're going to blow up, and I'm gonna be hooking it up to the amplifier directly, and we're gonna keep tuning it up until it goes kaboom. So, Tai Chi, camera girl, which one do you wanna do first? Black one, this one? All right, we're gonna hook this up. Come closer. All right, let's break this grill up until we can see about breaking the speaker. See it? I'm gonna put it right there. Got a good angle. So I got my phone hooked up to it, guys, and we're gonna slowly crank up the volume as it gets louder. I'm gonna back up because we don't know what these things are gonna do. All right, guys, got a song playing New Balance by Wale. Let's zoom in on it. See how much it can handle. Oh. All right, guys, you're like halfway through the song and it hasn't even blown up yet, but I can definitely smell it. And it's definitely hot. <laughs> it's definitely hot. All right, here's what we're going to do I'm going to crank it up max volume and let it go. We'll see what happens. There was so many, so many rap flow. So the toe with the mic and the mic like, and you hold it. It's a little more hard for my last soul. It's 
a hold on the wallet right after. Her lyric on wrote is a caption. When we broke up, she put me in a Wow. All right, guys, that's it's it's not doing anything. It's hot to like very hot. I can smell it, but it's not blowing up. It's not blowing up. So to keep the video moving, we're gonna go to which one, Tashi? You wanna do the big black one? You wanna do the one the gray one? Let's do the big one. Big one? All right, we'll do the big one. So last but not least, we're gonna do this little Bestian sub that's rated at, I don't know how many watts. I wanna say it was like 30 or something like that. You guys can see the speaker here. We're gonna put it on the box. You know what the drill is. Same song, same volume. We're just gonna roast it. Here we go. I'm backing up. It already died. That was it. No That's smoke, cool. no flames, no loud noises. It lasted 10 seconds. 10 seconds. So I opened it up, y'all, and it's definitely smoky. It died pretty, I don't know if you guys see it on the camera, but it's super smoky. It blew up so fast. This was the weakest one. I had the most faith in this. It's actual subwoofer. <laughs> All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I just wanted to get rid of some stuff and I thought this would be a fun way to do it. I'm really shocked. Where is it at? This little guy right here made it. Look at this, this is like a three inch driver in a little old Harman Kardon. I can smell it for sure, but it, it lasted. Didn't even break a sweat. I'm real disappointed in this guy down here. I really expected more. This is the only actual subwoofer out of the group and it didn't make it at all. But with that being said, guys, leave me a comment down below. Let me know, have you ever blown anything up? And be honest, was it intentional? Were you being silly? Did you do it on purpose? Let me know if you ever blown anything up like this. And uh, also hit that subscribe button if you're not already. We will see you guys in the next video. K-Face guy out. Peace.